Washington says it will withhold hundreds of millions of dollars in aid to Egypt until the Arab nation makes significant steps towards restoring democracy and improving human rights. A court in Egypt has set a trial date for ousted President Mohamed Morsi on charges of inciting murder and violence against protesters last year. Kim Minji has the latest. The United States has confirmed that it will suspend a large part of military and financial aid to Egypt over the ouster of former President Mohamed Morsi and the military-backed interim government's bloody crackdown on his supporters. Washington will hold back on the delivery of large-scale military systems, as well as halting $260 million U.S. dollars in cash assistance to Egypt, according to State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki in a statement Wednesday. An unnamed U.S. official said the withheld deliveries include Apache attack helicopters, Harpoon missiles and M1A1 tanks parts. The U.S. provides roughly $1.55 billion in aid to Egypt each year, of which $1.3 billion is used for military purposes. The State Department said the U.S. will continue to provide counterterrorism support and security around border areas and will also provide funding in areas such as health and education that benefit the Egyptian people. The U.S. said the assistance will resume when Egypt makes credible progress towards restoring a democratic government through free and fair elections. U.S. officials have said that Washington wants to maintain relations with the Arab nation, and the State Department spokeswoman also mentioned the long-standing partnership and shared interest between the two nations. Meanwhile, Egypt's Court of Appeals announced Wednesday that Morsi will stand trial along with 14 senior Muslim Brotherhood figures on November 4th on charges related to the violence last year between Brotherhood supporters and opposition protesters. Morrissey has been kept in an unknown location since his overthrow on July 3rd. Kim Minji, Arirang News.